Hello again, I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Marylanders are cleaning up and clearing out today following yesterday's spring snowstorm. This was the scene earlier this morning in North Baltimore. Hampton residents waking up to clean off their cars. The same look in Baltimore County. This is Lutherville. Not the start of spring that everyone was really hoping for, but today a bit more seasonal. Taking a live look outside of our harbor camp, it is gorgeous <laughs> outside. Sunshine and warmer temperatures, hoping to help thaw things out and melt some of that snow. We have a team of reporters tracking the aftermath of yesterday's spring snowstorm. Our WJZ weather team is updating the current conditions, but we start with Rick Ritter, who's live in Westminster with a look at the storm's effects there. Hi, Rick. Hey, Jess. Well, we had said that Frederick and Westminster, certainly two of the hardest hit areas. Here they had about 10 to 12 inches of snow. So now the cleanup process begins, but we were also worried about that refreezing overnight. Those slick conditions, they caused one major wreck behind me, shutting down traffic for hours. Driving into Western Maryland. It's obvious the spring nor'easter pounded the Westminster area. White gold. White gold. A system that dumped more than 10 inches of heavy snow. Leaving thousands with a massive cleanup Thursday. Some crews have been out for hours. Since uh, Tuesday morning, <laughs> about 4 a.m., we started. And you haven't stopped since? Nope. I haven't stopped since. Well, a lot of focus is on parking lots and neighborhoods now that the roadways are clear. The slick conditions are still hampering some drivers. This wreck on Baltimore Boulevard slows traffic for hours. Mother Nature making a strong statement. It snowed all day. It would be hard, then it would be light, then it would be hard, then it would be light. Many are hoping this is the last of the winter weather. Desperate for brighter days ahead. I'm done. I'm ready to go. <laughs> hey, let's go ahead and jump into summer. <laughs> And you're taking a live look at Baltimore Boulevard. That's where that accident was. Traffic still being slowed down a bit here as authorities have some of those lanes uh, shut down, cleaning up what's left of it, if you will. Those conditions, one reason why Carroll County had decided to close schools for the day as well. Reporting live in Westminster this afternoon, I'm Rick Ritter for WJZ. Makes sense. Okay, thank you, Rick. And now let's go to meteorologist Tim Williams tracking current conditions. Tim? Well, let's start by telling you where the storm is now. It has completely moved up into the northeast. You still see up in the top right of your screen that circulation. Snow now up near Boston and moving up into the Canadian Maritime. We have high pressure and control, sunshine, blue skies, and dry conditions. Temperatures, while they're not quite at our normal high of 55 now, we are above freezing. So the meltdown is underway. And along with that sun, which at this time of year, the spring sun angle is pretty intense. It's going to help melt down the streets, and it'll be a very slow process, but you'll start to notice that snow melt starting to go down very gradually. We had 40 degrees currently at BWI Marshall, 38 in Ocean City and in Bel Air, 39 in Hagerstown, and 23 cold degrees out in Oakland. You can thank the winds for that cold temperature out in Oakland and everywhere else. It's a bit of a chilly and blustery afternoon. Winds in the double digits, 13 mile per hour winds, but coming in from the northwest, that is really telling the story. My partner there, Marty, always talks about weather is where the air is coming from, and that northwest flow is going to bring in not only chilly air, but drier air. So, Marty, it looks like the chilly air is in place. Yeah, Tim, it really honestly does. Let's go right back to that graphic. This chilly pool of air sits up to the north. The low with that counterclockwise rotation grabs it and sends it right down over the area. So, this is today 10 below normal. Keep your eye on that color, and let's go ahead and look at the cold air projection map. Watch the timestamp. We're going to remain 10 degrees below normal essentially through Monday. Now, by Tuesday, it's going to start to lift a little bit. Then, as we approach opening day, the question is are we going to see it get milder or seasonal or at least to average? I think it's going to be with arms reach, but I'm not all that sure we're going to be right at the number. Let's live it day by day. In the meanwhile, just to understand, 10 degrees below normal every day now through the end of the weekend. I'm going to throw it back to you.